Hi, this is Sabina with Tower Chiropractic, and I wanted to take a moment to share with you a wonderful stress relief tool um, that uh, I have learned for myself and have uh, worked with other people um, using this tool called Emotional Freedom Technique. Um, it is a wonderful self-soothing technique that actually has been scientifically proven to reduce stress in the body and calm the nervous system. And we certainly have a lot of stress these days in our lives with the current situation. Um, this is a tool you learn and you have for life. So um, again, emotional freedom technique uh, is a tapping tool. It is a, uh, what we call acupressure um, uh, tapping, emotional acupressure. And um, we tap on the various points on our body, the various uh, acupuncture points on our body, the end points. And in doing so, we're actually sending signals to the amygdala to um, help it to calm down. So the amygdala in the brain is the fight or flight part of our brain that fires when there's stress. And um, when we tap on these endpoints, we're actually sending uh, signals to the brain to tell us to relax, to the nervous system to tell it to relax. And again, in these days and times that we're in right now with all the uncertainty, we can certainly use another modality to help reduce stress. So I'm gonna show you real quick how it's done. Um, we can actually use um, the uncertainty of our current times to do this uh, with, with the coronavirus, with uh, people not having work, or being out of work, not knowing when this will end. These things cause a constant stress. Plus, if anybody's watching any of the news, that increases our stress. And uh, there's so many conflicting reports and bad news and sad news. So um, it's good to have this tool on hand and it's very easy to do. So what we do is, again, we tap on endpoints in the body. So we have a sequence that we use and I will demonstrate to you how this works. So we start at what's called the karate chop point. That's the fleshy part of the hand here. And when we tap on this point, we're actually stating what is. It's called the truth point, really, because we're stating what is. We're not trying to be negative, we're just stating what is, how we're feeling. Um, and then we move to the next point, and these, this is where the reminder phrases are. So we move to these points. So every time I change the verbiage, we move to, a next, to the next point. And in tapping on these points, these are all end points of meridians and they run through the whole body, we are again sending signals to the amygdala to help us relax and reduce the stress. So you can use this anytime. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and take the uncertainty that we all have right now. Now we need to measure that. And by doing that, what we do is we take a deep breath and then we tune in to this feeling of uncertainty or fear that we have right now with this situation that's going on. And we measure it on a scale of one to 10. So 10 being we are very afraid or have a lot of anxiety about it, be it of the virus itself or of the financial consequences or of it all, or the overwhelm of information we're receiving, um, the change, the the um, isolation, any of those things. So we're gonna we're gonna hone in to, into that fear or feeling of uncertainty, and we'll measure it on a scale of one to ten. So if yours is very high, you're gonna measure it higher. Now, once you've done that, um, I'm gonna say five for me right now, or sometimes it's an eight. It depends on the moment. Um, and I've honed in and measured. I try to think about where in my body I'm feeling this feeling, because sometimes we feel it in our gut, sometimes we feel it in our chest, sometimes we feel it in our head, even in our limbs, we can feel it anywhere. Um, but it's just becoming aware of the feelings that we have. So we're gonna begin to tap on the karate chop point, and you'll just repeat after me everything I say and everything I do at this point. And I'm gonna keep this fairly general because everybody has their own personal, you can, you can substitute your own personal issue um, or 
personal emotion that you're feeling. So we say, even though I feel all this uncertainty about the current situation, and it causes me to feel stressed, I fully and completely accept this feeling and I'm choosing to give it a voice. Even though I feel all this uncertainty about what's going on, I fully and completely accept myself with this feeling and I'm choosing to give it a voice. Even though I feel all this uncertainty about the current situation, it causes me anxiety at times. I'm worried about certain things. I fully and completely acknowledge how I feel and I'm open to letting this feeling go. Now we go to the eyebrow point. This feeling of uncertainty. This feeling of uncertainty. I'm afraid of what could happen. I'm worried about my future. I'm worried about the uncertainty about how things will continue. Worried about this uncertainty. All this uncertainty. No wonder I'm worried. There's been so much talk about how dangerous this is. There's been so much talk about the financial impact this will have. No wonder I'm worried. I know my body's responding in stress because it wants to keep me safe. But continued stress does not serve me. And it's very difficult to make next choices and decisions <clears throat> while I'm stressed. So I'm choosing to open myself to the opportunity of letting some of the stress go. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about letting it go. I don't know if that'll change anything. I still won't exactly know when this will be over, when this will end, how it will impact me, either physically or financially. But again, it's not serving me to feel stressed and to give into the fear. So I'm choosing to let some of the stress pass through me now. Maybe I could change my view on how it <clears throat> and how I see it. It is a difficult time for everyone on the planet. But there's been a lot of good that has happened as well. People have come together to help one another. People value community more. Neighbors are being more neighborly. People are helping other people. So there's good things that can come out of this as well. I'm choosing peace. I can certainly make better decisions from a place of peace. I'm protecting myself as best that I can and doing the steps I can. And I know in this state, the state of peace, I open myself to much better opportunities for peace, for health, and for abundance.
all is well, and I am safe. Okay, take a deep, deep breath. And again. And tune in with that feeling of stress and see if it has changed, if it's come down, if, what, if it's a five or if it's an eight or even a 10, if it's come down at all. And then you can repeat that. Um, and sometimes other things will come up that will be um, uh, personal to you. So in other words, while you're doing this tapping sequence, um, you will uh, actually say, well, it's actually this or it's actually that. And it's good to tune into exactly what that feeling is because um, what we're doing is we're trying to find what the feeling is, hone in on it, and remove the charge out of it. Um, because we can, you know, things are gonna happen in life, things are gonna come at us, that's just life. Um, but it's how we can deal with them uh, is what matters. And from a place of more peace, we can deal with these things much better, right? So if some, an emotion comes up, you can just tap on that and repeat it. I will also send uh, just a quick image of how, of the tapping points, tapping sequences. And um, I think in the near future, we'll set up some kind of a Zoom call where we can all get together and maybe do a group tapping. So um, if you have any questions at all, you can call us here at Dower Chiropractic. Um, the number is 941-924-1227, most of you know it. Um, just give me a call and I will be happy to uh, set aside some time to answer any questions you may have. All right, thanks so much. And um, this was essential number three, mindset. Uh, so um, we here at Dower Chiropractic uh, wish you a wonderful, blessed, abundant, peaceful day.